Uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to uh, give my gratitude to the organizer of this conference, Professor Kihara, and his assistant, uh, Drs. Mura and uh, Ja, for giving me such a great opportunity. And uh, my talk today will give an uh, introduction of Japanese healthcare system and uh, my research output. In the first section, I will uh, present a brief overview of universal health coverage in Japan. Uh, this figure shows uh, three dimensions of universal health coverage as a conceptual framework uh, proposed by WHO. The dimensions uh, consist of population, services, and direct cost coverage. In Japan, uh, all are covered by mandatory and universal social health insurance. Japan's universal health coverage was established 55 years ago. The central concept of the insurance system was inspired by Vivari's report from UK, and the insurance schemes were developed by learning from Germany. The Japanese universal health coverage has a wide cover range, including inpatient care, outpatient care, prescribed drug, and dental care. Direct cost coverage role is based on age and income. Coinsurance is 30% for majority and 10% for people who age 75 years and over. There is uh, out-of-pocket limit and no deductible. In the super-aging society, how to make it sustainable is an important issue. In this figure, a red line shows a rise in the proportion of elderly people within the population in Japan. The proportion exceeded over 25% in 2015 and continues to increase steadily. Additionally, population size has started to decrease in recent years. Why does aging society matter? A major issue of aging society is the problem to financially supporting the care of elderly people. As you can see in this figure, uh, medical expenditure per capita rises when people's age increases. The data shows that uh, medical expenditure per capita of elderly people is four times that of the working age population. As you can imagine, national medical expenditure has been skyrocketing and had reached 3.700 billion US dollars. We can see the uh, slow, uh, slow, down, slow down in the trend of uh, GDP per capita. Finally, it, in 2015, Japan came to be the third largest expenditure per GDP in OECD countries. In this situation, uh, what should we do? In 2050, one dependent person must be supported only by 1.2 working people. How to achieve social security's financial uh, balance is an urgent issue. However, uh, the expenditure growth issue is not new for the Japanese government. In this figure, x-axis shows the proportion of elderly people, and y-axis shows the medical expenditure per GDP in each country. The deep red line 
shows one in United States. As we can see, uh, the line shows a rapid increase. The blue line shows uh, one in Japan. The moderate trend uh, would be the uh, result of Japanese government's continuous effort. And uh, I would like to introduce a uh, health insurance system in Japan. Our insurance system consists of uh, roughly three sub insurance system. Employees insurance, national health insurance, and long life medical care system. Especially, national health insurance is a key for a universal social insurance system in Japan. And enrollees uh, consist of self-employed farmers, non-regular employee, unemployed, retired person, and foreign exchange students. As for uh, NHIs, there are 1,716 insurers run by municipalities. And some of them are very small scale. Therefore, many national health insurances are facing with financial difficulties. And then, in recent, uh, each prefectural government decided to merge NHIs in 2018 to uh, obtain scale merit. However, I think uh, these mergers will not provide a fundamental solution because some prefectures still will still suffer from these financial difficulties. When we think about uh, sustainability of NHIs, we need to pay attention not only at national level, but also at municipal level. In the next section, I would like to introduce uh, recent strategies for cost control in Japan. The Japanese government issued a medical care expenditure regulation plan consists of these three strategies. First, to shorten average length of stay. Second, to decrease of risk factors of lifestyle diseases. Third, the promotion of the use of generic drugs. I would like to introduce these three in turn. First st strategy is uh, shorten average length of stay. Japanese government introduced the prospective payment system with diagnosis-related groups. And the specific thing is that it is a per diem payment system and it's based on diagnostic procedure combination. According to our research from our department, this payment system significantly reduced length of stay. However, uh, some patients stay in the hospital still longer because of clinical and social reasons. Therefore, uh, differentiation and coordination of medical functions is considered to be more important. Second strategy is to decrease of risk factors of lifestyle diseases. The government introduced specific health checkups and health guidance in 2008, and beneficiaries do not pay for this direct cost. The aim, the aim is the prevention of non-communicable diseases. Finally, uh, each insurer needs to manage their enrollees considering uh, their life lifestyle. And then uh, our department uh, developed and report dashboards like this to insurers.
to support their management. The implementation uh, of these data-informed healthcare management looks beneficial. However, there is a general question. It is a cost-effectiveness issue. This figure shows a uh, cost-effectiveness plane, and each plot represents screening strategies. As a result from United States uh, research, screening strategy, uh, screening people who uh, diagnosed hypertension annually, and screening people who age 30 years and over every three years are shown cost of effectiveness, uh, cost effective strategies. We need to uh, do research the co cost effectiveness of our uh, specific health checkups. The third uh, strategy is the promotion of use of generic drugs. In fact, share of generics in Japan is lower than other countries. And then, Japanese government set a goal that uh, share of generics should be 80% or more as soon as possible between fiscal year 2018 and the end of 2020. This figure shows uh, institutional variations of uh, share of generics. Among type of institutions, the mean value was almost same, but marked variation was observed. The essence of this issue is uh, this result uh, would be caused not only by patient preference, and, but also uh, suppliers' belief for quality of gen generic drugs. So uh, we need to know whether financial incentives can control them. I would like to uh, introduce another example of dif related to difficulties in market control. This figure shows uh, the number of MRI per million population. The top blue line shows uh, one in Japan. This line uh, indicates a uh, continuous increase whereas uh, the United States controlled it well. What is the reason why uh, there are so many MRIs in Japan? There are uh, two political uh, ways to control for diffusion of high-cost medical devices. One is regulation-based control. The other is council-based control control. Uh, home program is famous for one of regulations. State government authorized to uh, purchase these devices based on review of uh, regional needs. Uh, Council-based control is used in Germany. Members from states, hospital, medical association, and sickness fund discuss about shared use, market circumstances, and qualification of these high-cost medical devices. On, on the other hand, how is it in Japan? The government set a priority for diffusion of new technology on swiftness. The government had controlled market by reviewing uni, uniform uh, fee schedule that was based on a fee-for-service payment system, which can promote the diffusion of new medical technology. However, as an adverse event, medical arms race tends to be occurred. Unfortunately, uh, there is no legal regulation for managing this race in Japan. So, uh, still, 
reviewing uniform fee schedule plays a key role for controlling market. And this table shows the changes in MRI fee schedule. I explained uh, these three uh, cost control strategies, and I would like to emphasize that policy evaluation of these cost control strategies is needed. The objective of the next part of this presentation is to introduce the Japanese health delivery system by presenting research results that address these three relationships in turn. I would like to uh, introduce each of these relationships in this uh, figure in turn. First, quality and cost. Second, quality and access. And third, cost and access. Let's move on to research output. First, I, uh, we um, investigated the relationship between readmission rate as a quality measure and uh, length of stay as a cost measure. This slide shows the distribution of length of stay in acute ischemic stroke patients. As a result, the mean length of stay in Japan was significantly uh, longer than that of United States. However, even though length of stay is extremely long, but this doesn't mean our system is inefficient in itself. Please take a look at this uh, figure. X axis shows the length of stay, and Y axis shows a readmission rate. And each dot uh, presents country. The length of stay in Japan is comparatively longer than other developed countries, but the admission rates are lower. I would like to offer the possible reasons for this observation. Japanese hospitals uh, tend to provide post, uh, both post-care and uh, both acute care and post-acute care during the same hospitalization episode. Furthermore, Japanese physicians are more likely to keep post-acute patients in hospitals until they are able to uh, become in, uh, relatively independent uh, with higher level of activity of uh, living level. Therefore, uh, the Japanese healthcare delivery, delivery system may be considered inefficient because of a one-stop care delivery policy. Uh, second relationship is uh, between quality of care and access to care. Gen uh, generally speaking, uh, the workforce, physician workforce in Japan is quite low compared with uh, any other OECD countries. For example, physicians per 1,000 population is 2.2 in Japan, whereas OECD average is 3.2. Furthermore, uh, the, there are over 8,000 hospitals in Japan. Therefore, uh, the number of physicians per hospital is consider considerably uh, low. However, uh, whether this cause lower quality of care has yet, yet to be investigated in Japan. Uh, this slide shows uh, that there is a two-fold difference between the highest and lowest numbers of physicians among prefectures. And the fact is uh, neither objectively good nor bad in itself. It is not the degree of difference that is important, but 
how that difference affects the quality of care that matters. Uh, this uh, figure shows distribution of in hospital mortality in ischemic stroke patient between Japan and United States. Briefly, our research uh, didn't reveal any systematic differences between these two countries. This slide shows a relationship between uh, neurologists and neurosurgeons per elderly population and adjusted in hospital mortality rate. As you can see, uh, the red approximated line is not flat. In particular, these regions may be able to uh, improve the quality of care by allocating more physicians. Third, uh, I would like to introduce the relationship between cost and access to care. This figure shows the uh, neuro neurologist and neurosurgeon per elderly population on the x-axis and adjusted in hospital spending on the y-axis. The relationship is not uh, statistically significant, but due to a scarcity of the physician workforce, it may be difficult to deliver sufficient in eff effective care in these regions. As a conclusion of this series of studies, uh, I would like to recap these three points. First, hospital stay durations in Japan are relatively long, but readmission rates are relatively low. Second, in hospital mortality rate is not high, but some regions with insufficient number of physicians may benefit from further improvement. Third, uh, lower cost is not necessarily better under the same system. The possibility of more care, better outcomes should be investigated further in the context of the Japanese healthcare system. In our department, research output is shared with uh, many kinds of uh, stakeholders by a collaborative research network. Also, we set up a booth at this uh, university and shared research findings with various people in the community, such as high school students and elderly residents. In summary, I introduced uh, universal health coverage in Japan and also uh, recent strategies for cost control. Universal health coverage plays a key role for financial access of care. The sustainability of universal health coverage itself is very important, but balancing among quality, cost, and access, uh, so-called iron triangle, uh, including non-financial access of care, such as uh, waiting time. Thank you for your attention.